And welcome back to uh, our year in review of 2021, the year of He-Man. That's right. Uh, Mattel had a crazy, insane year. They're kind of feeling the repercussions of that right now, but this episode we've got our uh, good friend, as always, Kevin Wish. Right. And with us, uh, the man from the East, uh, Michael Vlad. What's up, gentlemen? Come um, on, guys. Thank you for having me. Yeah, I just got out of work. I'm uh, ready to eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to say 2021 was a masterful year would be an understatement. We had Origins. We had Revelations. We had Kevin Smith's cartoon. We had... Uh, the box set we had uh, the entire line you can see behind Michael we've got we had Castle Grayskull uh, and there's a lot a lot to break down Kevin you and I went to PowerCon with Travis we did it was fun that was a lot of fun yeah uh, oh, did you get your box by the way oh I, I it actually should be delivered um because we have that fetch system uh, I'll be getting it tonight so cool. Awesome. That's your so Christmas in January for you. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I have to explain to, to the wife to be um, just what everything is. I'm like, well, mine. All right. So, uh, PowerCon Revelations Origins. Uh, we have, you know what? Here's the thing. I tried going through like my best of, and it was, it was really hard. So, uh, you know what? Let's just break it down to Origins and Revelations. Origins. Uh, Kevin, you are the as big you know, actually you're bigger he-man fan than i am by a, a smidge uh what was your favorite origins figure of 2021 uh so the, you, as you know i don't really technically collect origins um mm. because uh, i have the classics line right i also am mm. buying the revelations line and because uh they're all six inch that's kind of my preferred scale okay or, origins i believe is what 4.5 yeah right? yeah because they're not in scale i don't really collect them however uh, one thing I did, I did buy this year. I bought this year. Yeah. Um, I got this. It's actually right behind me. I got a couple things for this year. Um, <laughs> not, not a figure, but it's a vehicle. Land shark. Land shark. Uh, yes. Yeah. Got that up there. This is the origins line. And, uh, it was on sale at target. Uh, it was really $35. I got it for $16.95. Thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, Kevin J. Johnson for the Yes, thing. Yes, sir. I was told by somebody they're like it's not really in scale with classics but since Evelyn's a little shorter than the guys it could kind of be specifically Evelyn's ride there you go nice. I mean Miss Lynn deserves her own ride so Truth. She can... yeah she does so there she is she's, <laughs> she's in it she's not even fully like in it in it but you kind of can't tell that she's you're cheating it it's all right cheating it it's fine for 16 dollars, you can cheat it exactly but i like the land shark uh it's a good it's a good homage to the original yes uh, they never actually did a land shark in the classics line so again because as you had mentioned you said it a nice way but i'm a he-man she or a whore yes i have to have every single you know in <laughs> they don't have it in the skew in the scale that i need then i have to there you go fair enough Mike, favorite, well, thing oh. I own, so that, that's my favorite thing. Gotcha. All right. Mike, what about you, man? What, what was your favorite? If you had one. I had to pick my absolute favorite item. Um, by far, it's Castle Grayskull. Fair enough. a gift for my wife. I never had one as a kid. Always wanted one. My sister had um, She-Ra's. And I always played with that with He-Man and all those. So that being released was what launched me into wanting to really get a lot of the figures that I had as a kid or the ones that I missed out on. Um, I've since kind of cut it down. I'm not getting going as crazy as I was, but I've definitely got enough to fill fill up a uh, gray school and also got the that awesome uh, PowerCon nice. gray school set. Yes, I was the only one. I was the only one that I grabbed specifically because of um gray skull i'm so happy i had that that's why it's <laughs> center I'm, i love it i'm it was so nice of her i was not expecting that as a, as a present <laughs> uh yeah i've got i've got gray skull like on a on a back order on one of the sites um honestly mine was tough for revelations i'm gonna go faker i think that was the best revelations figure i did uh, i did a tiktok episode with unboxing did you do your origins one you said, oh, uh, no, my origins, origins is a toss up between either the battle damage, He Man and Battle Cat. I actually yeah. thought it was really badass. Mm -hmm. Um, or, or this, this bad boy, Roboto. Oh, nice. Who doesn't love Roboto? Yeah. Um, 
here's the thing and here's where i i think the the revelations line i i think they have fixed it for wave three uh the scale of the heads is just weird looking like man at arms and beast man and he man's skull just look their heads look tiny i don't know what it is it don't, for me their their heads look maybe maybe man at arms is kind of in the scale but i don't I have, know i have a wave three with me right here i can show it to you um, oh, you see baby. you see like for me like so, the head looks tiny so we got fifth though oh shit yeah i don't know the i don't know wave three was out yet yeah, we have three. Well, it's Big Bad Toy Store. Oh. As you all know, there's the shipping crisis. So, yeah. how, uh, uh, me and friend of the show, Dave Story, which we try to get everybody else to get on board with us, but how we do it is we pre order from all the different sites. And whoever is the first person to send it out, I get my money, and everybody else gets canceled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cancel. No, I, I want right to get this, though. That is actually. Uh... Nope. I'm gonna open them eventually, but it's not now. Oh no, that's fair. Yeah. No, I'm. I'm just saying, like, I, like he is actually, and you know what, Kevin, you are actually bringing us into most anticipated for 2022. Um, it's. Andra. Oh, nice. That's Tiffany. Yes. Thinkware. Thinkware. Damn. And then the normal scare glow, not the deluxe Comic Con one. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So, see, you've got two of my uh, my most anticipated for 2022 because that's not out here yet. So, I'm putting it for this year. Uh, it's Fisto, Stinkor from Revelations, and then King Grayskull, that deluxe. Looks absolutely awesome. Okay. Yeah. He looks cool. And then I don't have any origin that I'm like, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'll get them, but I don't have any like most anticipated. You know, wave, wave huh? eight for pre order, correct? Did you see that on, B on BBTS? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Clawful. Clawful, the horse trooper, and then um, uh, the Sun Dark Man. Adam. Sun Man and anti anti eternia. Anti eternia. Uh, anti -eternia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I'm. Due to, try to Due to next week being the wedding, uh, I will be waiting uh, to find everything in hand. Yes. Good luck. And then hopefully this horse trooper, they produce them in mass, and then they put them on clearance, so you can buy like you know at least a good six. Good handful. Right? Yeah. I hope they have like I watch. I hope they have like the little like button that makes them fall apart. I I'm not sure if they do have that. I, they, they they won't. They, they won't. Don't. They won't. <laughs> Michael, do you have a most anticipated for next year for uh, origin? Um. Well, I'm gonna piggyback off of my favorite. My favorite was obviously Grayskull, but I want right. to give honorable mentions to Scareglow from nice. Origins, which nice. I was really in. Really, really dug this one. Never had that one as a kid, and Shiva. Nice. Uh, I am so happy that they did this. Um, you know, Kevin yeah. brought it up earlier. Again, this is a series that my sister collected and had yeah. as a kid. I finally got one of my own. Nice. And it's awesome. So yeah, I'm a real big fan of that one. Um, do were we doing our top revelations too already? Sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't do that one yet. Yeah. Like, ahead, Michael. You go. We'll, well, we'll we'll go in reverse. Robert did his, and then you do yours, and I'll do mine last. Okay. Well, that's, I would go with um, probably the Scare Glow nice. exclusive one because um, it's a Scare Glow kind of year. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing package. I'm a sucker for the good packaging, obviously. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, so and then my most anticipated um, are probably Clawful and Stridor because those are two I did have as a kid. And then um, for Revelations triclops and chop chop yeah those two look so badass yeah that that, that they are they're, they'd be my top five for most anticipated k wish what yeah. about you man uh, so i do collect revelations obviously um my favorite revelation that they've released this year uh really hard to choose one i i really do like the line yeah uh, I'm gonna, <coughs> as you mentioned before that uh, the head sculpts for the original He-Man and Skeletor aren't the best. So when we went to Paracon, there's a customizer that I bought yep. the He-Man head, which I feel like I could say, I remember, I'm terrible with names. I have his, I have his card, uh, but um, he was amazing. And I bought I bought that $20 head from, so now my He-Man's perfect. 
Um, I like a lot of them though, because I guess I technically did get these in 2021, but the, but you know, some some of us are getting them in 2022. I will say mm -hmm. I'm actually really happy with Andra because I met the woman who's the yep. voice of Andra, Tiffany, and she's amazing and just one she's, of a, she's a badass. She's amazing, warmest person to like talk to. Uh, that's awesome. We have her action figure, so I'll say that that's my favorite. With an honorable mention, though it's not my favorite, I actually am very pleased with the deal. And guess what? Guess who was the person that hooked this up? This battle cat, Mr. Travis Moody of Toy Kind of Mood, uh, was in Target, nice. and he was able to price match an online sale, and he's able nice. to get that for me and him both for fifteen dollars each. I said for fifteen dollars, yeah, I would get that battle cat. That's because, awesome oh, for sure. Because I have the other one, like the one that's like you know the classics one that's yeah, goes for, yeah. You know, you have to sell a kidney to get it. I don't want to open that. You have to sell a kidney to get it. So I will open this, and this will be my default battle cat in my display. Nice. So Very will, nice. Because he scales well with the ones I have. Uh, right. Shark, and he also scales well with Revelations, too. So okay. That's my nice. that's my favorite one. The, uh, the one I'm looking forward to uh, technically is in my, you know, that they've announced for Revelations. It's funny because they never showed a PowerCon. I know it's one. Of course, it would be she -Ra. Yep. You know me. Uh, they didn't show her, but they hinted that she would be coming this year. They showed her box. Yeah. So I'm very oh, nice. as to what she's going to look like. So that is the anticipated uh, skew, but you know, maybe it's going to look like crap. Who knows? Possibly. But the other one I'm anticipated with is the Savage He-Man Orco 2-pack. Yep. Which, because I pre-ordered it, like, the minute it went up for pre-order, it's in my pile of loot at Big Bad Toy Store. So, I, so I'm not going to have nice. it until 2022. So yep. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till actually after your wedding because I don't <laughs> to arrive while I'm in Houston visiting. Fair, that's yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Fair. So I'm just gonna let it sit. No, no. Let me ask you this, Kay, which because uh, is there anything that hasn't been announced or revealed yet that you hope your wish your K wish list <laughs> next year? Uh, for Revelations, yes, there is a dream of mine if they could do it. I don't know if Mattel would be bold enough to do it. But it would be like, say, like a, a like maybe even a Comic Con exclusive. It would be a box set of King Randor, Queen Merlena sitting on their thrones. Ooh, nice! In like you know, like if they could do like this big box of like you know, the backdrop could be cardboard. The you know the the Eterni Eternos Palace like throne room, but at least have chairs and have both of them sitting on their chairs with their scepters. And I mean, dude, I would lose my shit. <laughs> fair fair michael you, gotta, you, have a, you have a wish list for next year snake mountain okay if i could get a snake mountain to go with castle gray skull i think i would be complete i would be a very very happy camper i doubt it's gonna happen but no never, be, say, never say never, never, say never. <laughs> they're talking about no, it. i'm not gonna say never but i'm you know i'm like i'm not gonna get my hopes up too much and but i'll be if it if they do announce something like that i'll be very 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 happy and probably first in line to snatch it <laughs> but out, outside of that i'm trying to i'm really trying to rein it in this year yeah. and get a lot more dialed in so i've got piles of origins figures and i was like none of them are open yet i'm like I'm gonna, i can't wait to open them but once i do it's gonna take up a lot of space so i really want to get specific same with revelations i love the line yeah. and i wish i could go all in but I'm just gonna pick and choose specific characters. Like if they do a Shira, if they're doing a Shira, yeah. I guarantee. Yeah. Uh, as, as long as she looks good, she'll yeah. be one of them. Yeah, I, I I'm kind of like, sure. I need to start like kind of reining it in and kind of focus. Um, yeah. But I will say, this this is a cheat. This is a cheat because while she was <laughs> revealed, you didn't see what she looked like. Shira. So she her box was revealed, but the figure wasn't. So I'm gonna cheat and say that's my on my wish list yeah, I you know what? just because yep. i want to see them do it um eternia oh will they do it that, that, right. that that's probably a hard no robert like that's, snake mountain michael's wish for snake mountain i'd say it's more than a 50 50 50 shot eternia for revelations no no or I'll, just have to do, I'll just have to contend with my eternia over here Origins, perhaps, like a, you know, the line really, really takes off. Which I think, I think it's just kind of like, from what I'm reading about it, it's not tanking, but it's not also taking off either. It's, and I think it's I just keep hearing, don't they like lose the license at the end of this year too? 
Like, isn't doesn't the origins <laughs> or masters of the universe goes to something? No, no. Yeah. Could have sworn I had read something like that. No. I read something maybe. It was, Mattel is the master license holder of He Man, uh, like completely, like in every faction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't mean to like be puffing on my chest. Like it's it's just like I just know this shit because it's just like it's, I don't know. Hell yeah. I go to all the things. I read all the things. Uh, um, yeah. So they're the master license holder of everything He Man as far as media. Um, yeah. Okay. Figures. That's what I thought too. That's why when I, I remember seeing something, it threw me off. And I was like something about universe. So maybe it had something to do with movie rights or it was something yeah. that I had just missed. So yes, Universal does own the rights to produce the movie. But Mattel, okay, so my- Mattel still has to sign off on it. I will say okay. that. So, so far, DreamWorks still is the master license holder of a cartoon for She-Ra. But, so okay. what Kevin Smith had hinted at is that only She-Ra herself and the Horde, not any of Shira's um, uh, minions, can be used in the new, uh, the next okay. season of uh, Revelations. Only Shira can be used, not the, not the other characters, because DreamWorks still holds the master license to that. But as far as producing any of the toys or like clothing or whatever other bullshit Mattel wants to put out, they're the master license holder of Shira as well. Okay. Be, well, on, in that case, yeah. Yeah. A yeah. Prince, then I hope it power. does well. Yeah. Shifting from one okay. uh, childhood action figure to another producer of them, uh, NECA. Yes. NECA had another, NECA had a great year. You can see it behind Vlad. Um, I mean, we got what? Ninja Turtles, Alien Predator, Gargoyles. They started that one. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Mike, I'm going to go with you because you've got yours displayed ever so pretty. Uh, do you have mm-hmm. a top three of NECA? My top three of NECA, well, I'm going to start with a very quick shout out for my lady um, because Gabby absolutely is obsessed with the Gremlins line. And we finally started getting some of those uh, recently. Um, She took her first one off on her trip to Puerto Rico. She's been posting pictures of Rembrandt causing ruckuses. And um, my sister just sent this one along, just arrived today, which was uh, nice. Gabby knows about it, but it was a Christmas present for her that she won't see until she gets back. So shout out to Gremlins and Pan's Labyrinth, Gabby's absolute favorites. She loves NECA. Nice. Um, for, for me, um, I'm going to have to go with my uh, Chrome Dome. Fair. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely love this one. And this is the single figure that made me decide that I'm not buying Black Series anymore. When I had this sitting next to Wrecker and they were the same price, I just, that was it. Seeing them next to each other. I'm like, I can't do it anymore, Hasbro. I'm sorry. I love you for some other stuff, but I can't, I can't give you $30 for a figure when it's a quarter of the size of this guy. Um, as far as uh, my second, I would say the April O'Neil from the movie line, um, okay. which I think came out freaking amazing. Uh, the Judith Hogue's head sculpt and stuff is fantastic. And then my number one is definitely the Channel 6 news set. I love this so much. I did not. I, I got. I only got into collecting this this um, line of figures this year, yeah. which is kind of crazy. Um, so this wasn't something I was expecting to see. Like I was not expecting to see an Irma or any of that. And for them to have done that and to do it at the quality that they did, ah, oh, it was awesome. I, can, I, I, love, can, love I, can, I can help you out and show you like a little out of box if you want to see the out of box. Oh yes, right there. You can see that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, it's, I love them. It, it is really awesome. So um, such an awesome set. I have to go now. My planet needs me. Mine. I gotta go with that Chrome Dome. That Chrome Dome was. Uh, you know what? I didn't really collect that much. That much NECA this year it was Chrome Dome. Uh, Mondo Gecko. Yep. Mondo Gecko was really Good nice. One. Yeah, Mondo, I always yeah, love Mondo Gecko. I would like an to like the set. little anamorphs. Yeah. And then uh, I have them, I have it put away because I didn't have room for it. But uh the turtles in disguise. Yes. That, for sure. uh, you Thank you again for that one. You're very welcome. Yeah, that that um that was so so freaking badass. Uh oh uh, and and K wish is locking back in. He tripped over the cord. Oh no. <laughs> um, 
I mean, while he while we wait on him to log back in, uh, what uh, what's your most anticipated for next year, Michael? I'm gonna say I'm gonna break it into two two lines for the for the turtles. I'm very stoked about the neutrinos. Okay, um, yeah, the neutrinos. Yeah, that that was that uh, three pack set just looks. That's like yes, yes. I'm glad. I'm so stoked they're doing it, and they look amazing. Um, they do. For sure. So very, very excited about that. And then as far as um, where am I? NECA overall, the Gargoyles line. Um, that's when me and Gabby are both very, very, very excited. We're glad that Randy's releasing them out a little bit at a time. <laughs> yep. One every few months, not like here's 30 figures. You have to go buy three waves next week. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, those nice. Gargoyles look amazing. Yeah, they do. K Wish, what was your top uh, NECA figure of 2021? Sorry, I had some technical difficulties right there. <laughs> oh, you're good. It happens. Um, yeah, so my top three that came out. Uh, oddly enough, I will say it's the Turtles in Disguise is my number one favorite one that came out nice. in uh, 2021. Yep. Uh, that was actually courtesy of you, Bobby, for finding that for me in Texas. You're welcome. Same. That's right. If I found for both of y'all, that's right. Yep. I do appreciate it. Was the it. biggest pain in the ass. Absolutely. It, it, and I've never seen it ever since. I saw it one, no. one time after, and that was it. Yeah. yeah. I've only, when they put it up last April on the NECA store, that was it. I've never seen never seen one in a store. Yep. So, yeah, I'm very excited. That's so far the only, the turtles that I've actually opened. I opened that immediately because um, <laughs> I wanted to see what they were like, and I love them. And it's huh. funny, the only reason all of these are sealed isn't because I'm an inbox collector. When I did started doing the pre-orders last April and I pre-ordered all the ones that they made available that I had missed. And I was like, as soon as all these arrive in like September, I'm going to do this mass unboxing. And since then, I still haven't gotten the last three that I had pre-ordered and I've acquired numerous other ones that they have released since. So now I've just got all of these boxes and it's going to be so much fun, so much fun to open these up and actually like display them. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hair dryer at the ready, baby. Yeah, yeah we're, 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 we're boiled and be most careful with Bebop, by the way. Uh, his, uh, yeah, I've heard. Yeah, I, I've had a uh, repair of Bebop before. Um, the other two, uh, I will say uh, number two is his number one, the uh, Channel 6 box set. Nice. It's not number one. It's a little bit of a miss because I like, as most uh, collectors have said, I do think they should have uh, included a, a human head for April instead of just the cat head, because a lot of people did miss out on April, and it would have been a nice touch by NECA to have included the human head as well, and they didn't. Um, yeah, but they didn't. But nonetheless, it is a cool set. The cameras, the lighting equipment, like just the box set for Channel 6, it's really cool. Uh, like, I, I like the, I like, you could tell that the guys at NECA are huge fans of um, the, the animated turtles. They're, they're, oh, a big, they're, they're a big fan of turtles in general. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'll say my number three NECA would probably be Goliath because I am super excited for them to do the uh, um, Gargoyles line. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm just like, I was like, no, I'm not collecting anything else. It's like, I'm cool, bro. I was like, you know, once Super 7 puts out their turtles, I'm like done collecting Man of the Game. <laughs> Classifieds here and there, some X-Men Marvel Legends, but other than that, I'm done. And then NECA had to go and drop that <laughs> and bomb on me and I'm just like... Mm. And what a bomb it was, too. With okay. All the little teases. And all the back of the box, like, they show, like, this next six, they're doing Bronx and Brooklyn and, and uh, yeah. like Demona. And I'm like, I'm like mm, you guys aren't nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I got I got a bomb. They are. I Definitely. Got a bomb. Uh, those are my favorites of uh, 2021. My most anticipated is, is, of course, more gargoyles. Yep. That would be number yep. one. Uh, the neutrinos. <laughs> same as me <laughs> or two and then the reason i can't say that this is number one and not and that's number three is because it was only teased uh and it was hinted at uh intently uh but not announced as they're going to be doing a party wagon this year oh yes and not cost you know a rent payment five hundred dollars yeah or seven is yeah uh it's going to be a lot more economical and it's going to look even more cartoon accurate Whereas the one that Super Seven's putting out is more uh, accurate to the one we had as kids, uh, from right? The, from the you know, because it's not exactly cartoon accurate. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to them doing that and not having to spend a week's salary on that. I'm, there you go. Yeah, it probably won't yeah, be as. And I don't. I like with the space thing. I just don't need a big ass. 
you know, giant. Yeah. 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 I mean, outside of Gargoyles, I'm, I'm like, really, I, I'm kind of tapering off NECA. The only one I, I know that's coming out next year and I'm really wanting to get it is Ace the Duck. Love Ace the Duck. I've always, I always loved that figure as a kid. It was my, one of my favorites. So that's my mm-hmm. most anticipated. My wish list, and I don't know if they've officially announced them. I think, I think we got a spec. Was a Usagi Ujimbo? Yeah, we got the paint sampled version. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So Good him, call. Uh, he's be, he, okay, then he go up to my most anticipated. And then my wish list is this guy. I want Panda Con. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot to do wish list. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do wish list. Wish list. The K wish list, I'll just say, is just uh, concrete proof that they're doing the party wagon, and I would like a sewer layer playset that they did say would connect to the bottom of our street scene. Big maybe if that happens. And also, they're doing an ultimate April O'Neil too, because they they Randy and company admitted that their April O'Neil sucked, and it does suck because I had to buy I had to buy a custom head for it. And paint it and make her look, you know, not like a little girl. Like she basically looks yeah. like a reject from Strawberry Shortcake. I'm like, that's not April. Um, yeah, I was happy to hear that they were going to do an ultimate version of that because that's one of the ones obviously I missed out on her and Casey Jones. Yeah. So I was like, oh, an April, a regular April. Like, that's cool. I'm down for that. It'd be awesome. Okay, uh, Vlad, do you have a wish list for next year? Um, my wish list was once they said that. And this might even go farther than next year. Once they had stated that they were doing, going to be kind of transitioning from the games to the comic book line. Yeah. And being a huge Turtles comic fan. Yeah. I am. I would love for certain certain artists to get like figures, like to get okay. like the return to, like for instance, like Return to New York. That whole run yeah. with uh, Eastman and Eric Talbot and um, Jim Lawson all together to get one of those looking turtles would be incredible um to have some of the more crazy ones like um oh now i'm gonna forget his name <laughs> not steven Bissett, but um oh, i can't remember right off the top of my head uh dooney michael zuli 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 okay really crazy like different looks for the turtles so if they were to do some stuff like that or like um ac ac farley from the um okay 50 to 62 yeah, yeah they're all unique styled turtles right so it's even if it was just just the turtles as an exclusive or something over the coming years that was like an artist set like the kevin eastman peter laird ones i'd be pretty stoked for something like that so that would be my wish list that i not really certain i'll ever see so i'll leave it as a wish <laughs> you know what my my star wars wish list i want the directors i we got dave filoni i want robert rodriguez john favreau and bryce dallas howard so you know what hey wish oh, away it's a wish list right it's a wish Long list <laughs> exactly wish list. all right so going from NECA <laughs> down to super seven k wish what was your favorite of 2020? uh uh just the thundercats yeah i don't think it's uh, um so yeah it would only be thundercats stuff okay um they're they're tur- i will admit their turtle stuff is good i do have the april by them their ultimate april because i thought she would look better than the one super seven did yeah uh, i mean like I, i'm a big april fan and she looks good but she doesn't look any better than the one super like i mean no, no company so far i could say to date by my right has hit april o'neill exactly how i want her um but i ha- i own it I wasn't didn't cost me armor like I got it like uh, cheaper on the, that Amazon sale that they did. Gotcha. Um, their turtle stuff is okay. I don't collect it because it's not. I prefer the animated look. But okay. I do, I do collect the Thundercats line, and so I will say this: that I finally, <laughs> after many much deliberation, I finally got Wave Three. And most of finally Wave Three of Thundercats. I got so my favorite figure. It's right behind me. I'll show it to you. Um, I'll take him out. Slab. Yeah, that's, oh, that's been on cool. so many people's lists. I want him just because he looks amazing. This is badass. Yeah, it's amazing. Like as a kid, this is the slide I always wanted. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I, just the best. And like they they did such a good job. Like I I I did hear that um, the Four Horsemen does the sculpting for Super Seven. They have a good relationship with them. So Makes I yeah, this is just this is 
This he looks so good. Tremendous. He so good on Brian and company for getting that out. Um, you know, biggest complaint with Super 7 is it, it, it's the running gag, but, you know, come on, guys. Like, get a liaison out to China, crack the whip, be like, hey, dude, it, like, more than a year for product once it goes up for sale to get it in the hands of customers, it, it, that's a big ask. Yeah. Especially when Super 7 takes the money of, of the customer. Yeah. Which is why I no longer order from them. I order from Entertainment Earth or Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, because I, I don't want to give them my money until I'm, I'm sure I'm getting the product. So yeah. it's sad that Chitara was supposed to be part of that line. Uh, she had a little bit of a hips cracking issue. Much really? Like, uh, like Shakira, her, her hips don't lie. Um, <laughs> so uh, Chitara is pushed out to, I think, March. Um, and they would, and as a special thank you to the um, customers for uh, waiting, they're giving her a, like a third head, which is nice. Oh, nice. Uh, but Chichar should have been part of that. And so Wave 2 is actually supposed to be shipping. I know that they said it's on the boat from China now to come into the ports. And our port issue seems to be working itself out. So there's going to be Ultimate Memra, which is the big jump Memra, which I that looks, cannot wait to get that. And then I also have Tigra and Gruen the Destroyer pre-ordered with that. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So there, basically all of the Thundercats I'm looking forward to. There's, there's some I'm looking forward to more than others. Like, of course, Mumra I'm looking forward to. Right. And yeah. Mara. And I guess I'd say Tigra too, because those are like part of the originals. And the last mutant that's like the main mutant would be Monkey in, and he's coming out in wave four. And then finally, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm looking forward to that Thunder Tank. It just looks massive. It's huge. I did pre-order it. I'm I'm probably going to keep my pre-order. Um, I don't know why it needs to be the size of Castle Grayskull, um, but I guess you know they. It is know. a tank, Kevin. It is a tank. Yeah, I mean, um, I I mean, I guess technically speaking, this is a tank too, right? Like, I mean, they they call it. Yeah, that. it's a solo tank. It's a solo tank. Tank um, light. Even if you, thunder. You know, honestly, if you put four of those, you know, side by side, it would still be dwarfed by the size of the thunder tank. <laughs> yeah, so. that's not a lie. Michael, <laughs> what about you? What you got for uh, 2021 and 2022? 2021, I was was gifted a Super Seven Baroness cup. Um, nice as a present. Um, <laughs> that is the only Super Seven that I own. Okay. Um, as far as what they have done, his number one. Thundercats toy it was one that I've actually been tempted to buy just because I love Thundercats and such too but so yeah it's just it's such a, I've seen so many really great toy photography of them and a lot of people talking yeah. about them that I was tempted um upcoming though I'm curious about what they're doing with uh G.I. Joe I think that's mm -hmm. going to be cool um I did pre-order Rita Repulsa nice um and a Mauser pack Okay. Um, for the turtles just because they looked cool they looked, um they i'm not cool. sure if i'll keep rita or not it was more like mm, i kind of have some of the power rangers but i don't yeah it's one of those that's so far far down the line i think that looks really cool but for the most part super seven's a little uh, price wise and such yeah. and not really yeah. not doesn't doesn't fit the equation of trying to be more focused this year fair enough so i think they do great stuff but I'm probably not going to be purchasing much. Okay. Yep. Um, so I don't, I think he was late 2020, but I got him in 2021 um, at PowerCon. It was Wave 1 Panthro. It's cool. Oh, yeah. Uh, Beautiful. He's my favorite Thundercat. Uh, if I can find Lion-O, cool. If not, I got my favorite. I'm good here. Nice. Um, now, I did get this one, um, and I actually want all four. Mm -hmm. the ninja turtle this is ultimate mikey um honestly i understand why people get super seven he comes with like four nun uh three sets of nunchucks like i've got the the metal ones but uh he's got the old school like 80s playmates weapons the 2000s weapons he's got two different heads this where he's smiling and then the playmate style head uh, i've got donnie leo and wrath and samurai leo all on like pre-order but like they're so far out that yeah. i i'll get them when i get them um and then for for 2022 uh animaniacs 
I am all about the Animaniacs. I want Pinky in the Brain so damn badly. Uh, but as I've joked with K-Wish before, I'll probably get them in 2024, 2025, when they probably will be released finally to the mainstream people. Uh, now, for the wish lists, uh, you know what? My wish list for Super 7 is the same as NECA. I want Ace the Duck and PandaCon. And then, uh, K-Wish, help me here. The man, who was the man of what, Ray? It was... Um, oh, uh, Ray Filet. Ray, Ray Filet. Filet. I want Ray Filet. Uh, for Super mm-hmm. 7, they, they're doing him. He's already been up for pre-order. NECA, uh, Randy hates that character, and he's gone on record. <laughs> they're never doing him. Son of a biscuit. Well, you know yeah. what? <laughs> How do you hate Ray Filet? He's a giant manta fish. He's cool. <laughs> I he's think so it, cool. In the show, though, isn't he kind of a dick? He was. I remember that well, episode. Casey Jones. <laughs> he was not cool to the turtle. He was like he was a wisecracker, just the same way that Raphael was. They were both like. Yeah, they were dicks to each other. I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'll get them. I guess uh, you know maybe Super Seven stuff will. It kind of scales a little bit with the NECA stuff a little bit. Um, I'm not paying fifty five dollars for uh, an impulse buy. No. Uh, but if they ever discount mm-hmm. that, like have how they've uh, sold some of the Super 7 Turtles um, on Amazon, yeah. I'll get them for $30 yeah. like that. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not That's why, it. like, I won't lie, I will get the Turtles. I'll get the four. Yeah. Uh, like, I've got Samurai Leo up for pre order. I've got him going, but we'll see because he looks, I always love that figure. Um, but Pink in the Brain will be bought. Mm-hmm. I don't know the rest about the anime, I don't know about the, the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dot. Yes. Uh, but they might they might get purchased. I don't know if I can find them. If I can find <laughs> them, I might get them. All right. So that was uh the hey, yes. you, uh, Michael. Did you do a wish list for Super Seven or no? I would like Super Seven to drop the price of yeah. GI Joe reaction figures. Yeah, because I I think the GI Joe reactions look cool for all those extra green shirts and sailors and all those cool things that you could have in the background of a thing. But I ain't paying eighteen ninety nine for a five point articulated figure I, with box, I, you know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I know the other. I know that's not going to be the case, but that would be a nice little wish for me. Is like, hey, make them a little bit cheaper, and then I might buy a couple. You know other than what? that, NECA. Those eventually hit clearance though, so you could you could wait. Yeah. I will. No, I'll hold off. I have three reaction figures, and I swear they used to be ten bucks. They used to. And then okay. They, yeah. and they, ran, they ran to eight dollars like this is like overnight. I'm like, mm, that's not a right. Yeah. I, like, uh, I don't know. If it goes from ten to eight in like a month. I was like, should it go to like twelve ninety nine? And then I was like, I don't really know what you know. Yeah. Kind of their pricing system's a little wacky over at Super Seven. Yeah, I do five. Be- I do five below prices for those. I buy a whole wave, you know. Right. You give me five bucks a pop, I will. I will buy a whole collection. <laughs> they're they're riding they're riding on people's nostalgia is what they're trying to do as far as like getting the price that they get. And, and honestly, yeah, if, they, if they did the the whole like five dollars for them, they'd be sold out. Yeah, they would. Sold. Yeah, they would do. They would do well. Like this newest batch that they just um, revealed had like one, two, three, nine sailors that were all basically the same thing slight variations and then like 18 dollars a piece yeah and it's like you know if you're a completionist yeah that's kind of pushing it like, i love their transformers <laughs> at power con like k wish watch me like drool over this like uh megazord super seven <laughs> reaction figure i'm like i want this it, no 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 it was the megazord and there was voltron and i'm like i want these but for 40 bucks <laughs> I got Panthro. I can actually move. Yeah. Although I, I won't open him yeah. up. Don't, don't touch him. But, <laughs> but, like, come on. Yeah. No. Yeah. Really, really quick. I'll just say my my wish list for Super Seven. Uh, one of them I shouldn't even say and eke it out loud because I know that you know Brian's just sitting there, you know, at his calculator figuring how much are we gonna. <laughs> uh, I'd, say, I'd say the Thundercats lair. I, I I will purchase it because I one thousand dollars. I was a bratty, spoiled little child, and I did not have it as a kid. And because my parents said it, that cost too. That's what the one rare instance when my parents were like, "No, Stephen, it costs too much money. You can't have it." Um, the other is that, was that was that your you like your USS flag? Uh, no, my USS flag was my USS flag. I couldn't have that either because it cost too much money. Plus, uh, I was I grew up in an apartment. And we didn't move to a house until I was twelve, and so I didn't collect you. I was 12 and so my mom's like first of all we're not paying a hundred dollars for a toy 
And the second is where the hell are you going to put that? Because it's not going to. Yeah, I'll sleep on it, mom. Right. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, I couldn't have it for two reasons. Um, and then the other thing I'm really looking forward to, which they have hinted at, will be revealed for Wave Six. One of them, at least, would be the Luna Tax, because we never had Luna Taxes as kids with the. Oh. Yeah. All right. There you go. Fair yeah. enough. All right. Yeah. So that was a uh, Mattel. NECA Super 7 Best of 2021, most anticipated for 2022. Um, K Wish, Michael, uh, I, I, I love having y'all on here as usual. Um, Thanks. Anything y'all want to throw out there real quick before, before we log off? Um, yep. uh, no, nothing that's appropriate for the show. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, the most well, well, wish answer ever. <laughs> I just want to say that this is uh, uh, 20, 2021 was uh, another year of proving, I think, or as has proven to me that NECA and Mezco are definitely the favorite toy brand like in this household. Um, I think, that, and then Hasbro for G.I. Joe for me. Um, I really like what those guys are doing. I hope they continue to, con you know, continue doing the high quality stuff that I've uh, been getting this year because I'll, I'll keep buying things as long as they keep it to that level and follow a toy kind of mood on Twitter. I'm sick of talking to 39 people. Mm -hmm. I would like to hit 40, 40 to 50. That's my next goal. Let's, let's there you go. Up. That's a good goal. Well, how about 40? Right. Well, 40,000, I mean, you got to, it bit by bit you know Correct. we went from 20 to almost 40 in a you know in, a, in like a month or so so hey which wants to do like the super seven know. scale if we go from like eight to ten to twenty like 40 45 <laughs> 40 000. i mean I'm a, i'd like to aim big but i also want to be able to interact too but yeah. no i've been having a lot of fun running that like that twitter page so if it's you're amazing. watching this follow a toy kind of mood on twitter and and talk to me because yes, yes talk to michael on twitter he's lonely <laughs> when he's not home because Yes, and she her flights have been delayed like another like week, so I won't be seeing her till like mid. Oh mid no! Yeah, Ugh. that sucks, man. I'm sorry. All right, so <laughs> <laughs> so to, go talk to go talk to Michael on the toy kind of mood uh, uh, on Twitter, uh, and I just hit my desk. And as always, he's Michael, he's Kevin, I am Bobby. We will see you in the toy aisle. Peace. Yep. Happy Bye, New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>